Hello and welcome to Center for Nanotechnology, IIT Guwahati. This is the Electrical Characterization Lab here at Center for Nanotechnology, IIT Guwahati. We are going to demonstrate 4200 SCS Semiconductor Characterization System. This system has four source measure units or SMU in short. SMU 1 and 2 are capable of measuring low current up to femto ampere range. SMU 3 and 4 are capable of conducting high voltage measurements. Apart from IV, it can measure capacitance voltage as well as pulse measurements. This unit 4200 SCS is connected to this room temperature probe station. This is evergreen BD6 probe station which is having four DC probes. These two units are connected via this triaxial low noise cables. These cables are ensuring our low noise and low current measurements. This is the photodiode prepared here at IIT Guwahati. We are now going to demonstrate the photodiode action in visible light. We are going to first probe this and then use 4200 for IV characterization. So these are the four SMUs, SMU 1, 2, 3 and 4, these are for IV measurement. This unit here is capacitance voltage unit for CV measurement and this unit PMU is for pulse measure units. As you can see, these units are connected via triaxial cable to the probe station. So this probe station has four micro positioners, one, two, three and four and you can see the gold tips. These tips are having a tip diameter of 10 micrometer. You can see our photodiode is, is probed using SMU 3 and 4. So now I am going to switch off the light and close this Faraday cage. This cage isolates our device which is under measurement from any external interferences. So in order to conduct any measurements, we rely on this software which is called Clarius and you can see many tests are already inbuilt in the library. You can search any test using this search tab or you can use these pre and you can use these uh, device type or number of terminal method also. Once you identify which test you want to conduct, then you can click on that one and go to configure. In our case, it is a two terminal device. So we are using this resistance, two wire resistance to and then using this drop down menu, we will choose which source measure unit is connected. So we in our case, it is SMU3 and SMU4. Then operation mode. In this one, you can choose either voltage bias or current bias. Other than that, you can go for sweeping as well. The moment you choose test mode as a sweeping, then you have unlocked this various type of sweeps like voltage linear sweep, voltage lit sweep and voltage log sweep. Similarly, current sweeps as well. So we are going for voltage linear sweep, minus 10 volt to 10 volt with a step of 0 0.05. Now I am going to, before running, I will just, now the setting has been done, SMU3 and SMU4, operation mode is voltage linear sweep. We are sweeping from minus 10 volt to plus 10 volt with a step of 0 0.05 volts. Now we are running the test. 
and we can go to analyze to see the data both in list as well as in plotting form. We will go to graph, define graph, you can see AI that is current at A terminal is at Y axis, voltage at A terminal is at X axis. Now we can just do uh, auto scaling and you can see the graph. Now this is under dark condition. Now I am going to turn on the light and rerun the test. Now the light is on and we are running the test again. Now we are simultaneously plotting last test and you can see a visible change in current. Now we switched on the light, now we are going to conduct a test again. As you can see this is the previous test curve which is plotted over here, now I am going to run. You can see in the real time the device under illumination, the, cu the current is plotted against the dark one and you can see change in current as compared to the last one. So this device is detecting visible radiation and it is showing it uh, in the form of change in current. Now we can also see in the real time the transient response of the device by choosing sampling mode giving a voltage bias let us say minus 10 volts and sweep interval is 0.1 second and we are taking let us say 1500 samples. And we can run this. So instead of IV, now the currents will be plotted against the time. Now we can choose y axis to be the current and x axis. Now we can choose y axis as current at terminal A against the time at x axis. Now I am going to conduct a real time experiment in which I am going to switch off on and off the visible radiation. Now I am going to turn on the light. Now I have started the test, the device is under illumination, now I am going to turn on the turn off the light. You can see a visible shift in current levels. Again I am going to turn on the light. You can see the change in current once again. Again I am going to turn off. One second turn on. So you can see the device response in real time. Now we have kept one MOS capacitor under probe condition and you can see I have chosen MOS capacitor as a test and MOS capacitor CV sweep. Now you can see I have chosen CVH as over the gate and CVL at the metal under under the metal condition. So apart from IV and CV which are the typical test you can go for many other tests which are there in this test library like BJT, solar cell, nanowire capacitance, charge pumping, 
so other than that photodiode current measurement nano wire many tests are there you can choose the appropriate test and conduct the measurement and these two units are basically multiplexer and amplifiers so the signals from smu1 then capacitance voltage and pulse measurement units are going in this multiplexer and one output is coming so depending upon our test the the input is chosen between these three so this is a multiplexer unit as well as amplifier unit it will amplify the low uh, current and low uh, signals to a desired level so that it can be read by the 4200 fcs machine so apart from typical iv and cv measurement one can use this device for many other type of test you can select the test type using this test library which is given over here many other test like solar cell shotki diode nbti pbti test all can be conducted in using this machine thank you